Okay, I created a robot here that I'm going to show you how to build so you can do it at home. These are all the parts you need. This, three by, th or yeah, two by three. Then you need two of these ramped tiles. Two of these. Then you need one of these. These should be the same color. It's okay if you, you don't have all exact colors, but you should try. And so then you have this with the uh, hole in it. It's a gray piece. This small blue uh, thing. I don't know what you call it. Then two of these tiles, middle tiles, with the hole in it. Two of those with the uh, claw at the end. Make sure it's not... Let me give you an example here. There's other ones. One second. Make sure it's not one like this. This is bad. This is good. See how the claw's facing that way? Make sure you have that. Then, you need two of these um, trans... or um, yeah, transparent, uh, see-through, white studs. Then you need one of the, another just plain gray. Then you need all gray legs. Two of these. These are just extra for the backpack. I'll tell you about that more later. One of those, dark gray. Uh, big ramp, dark gray. Then you need three of these. One, two, three. Generally, you can get these, and I got them in a Star Wars Bark Speeder set, so, um, here, let's get to it. Oh, these are the weapons that the robot can use, accessories, you can create your own. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, now, first you are going to need the legs the legs. Then grab this with no hole in it. Put it right through here. Then you are going to need this piece. Dark gray. Put it on top here. Then you need one of these. Put this, make sure it's facing backwards here so you have the legs and then turn it around and you'll see the dots on the back then once you have that you are going to grab another one of these put this here facing backwards so it should look like this okay then, same thing with the other mirror. So it should make a little place right in there. And then this side should be flat. Okay, then you are going to need these pieces. So we're going to put one here like so and one here once you have those we are going to we'll do the head last so next is the arms we did that part let's do the arms now for the arms let's put this aside I'm going to need one of these and one transparent piece Put the piece right here at the end, so it snaps on at the bottom. Once you grab that, you turn this, and you're not going to put it here, 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 or here. You're going to put it in the middle. So you grab where the stud is, right there, and you put it in the middle. So it should fit right there. 
all the way through. So in the middle. And same exact with the other. This transparent piece here. Then once again, not in the sides, but in the middle. There you go for the base. Okay, now we have the base. We are going to, let's see. Now we're going to do the back. Right here where this hole is, you're going to grab the ramped piece. Dark gray. This is the default. You can add backpacks later. I'll show you how to do that at the end of this. So you're going to grab this dark gray ramp and place it right in here like so make sure it's facing down toward the legs the ramp is going toward the legs okay then you have the body here then you are going to do grab this two by three three by two whatever turn turn all right so you grab this and you're going to get in the center place it right like that so it will be connecting through the middle okay since you have that now we are going to do the head head you're going to grab this with the hole through it then you're going to get this blue piece put the blue piece into the hole of the head so you have this, this is the eye once you have that you're going to get these ramped pieces put them on top so the ramps are facing down like that make sure that the part that's sticking out in the blue piece the part that's sticking out right here is facing the way the ramps are so that's going to be the front of the face okay so we grab our character and see where these two one second let me straighten this out So you're going to eventually, there you go. So you see where these two are, right? You put those two right, and then put the head right over those two. So you should get your character, and it should look somewhat like this. If you have different colors, that's okay. I actually recommend some different colors. Like in the middle, see this gray piece? That's the rank. So you can do green, blue, red. Um, you don't have to listen to me, but when I say this, when you, I prefer that you do color patterns. It just bothers me when people will build like a castle of Legos and they'll have red, yellow, blue. It just looks too rainbowy. So you have to have a nice pattern like this, like n like not one blue arm and then a red arm or one dark gray and one light gray mm. I just prefer you know the colors to be like that but you have your own opinion so there we have with the character um, we are finished but now I'm going to show you how to build the um, backpacks okay Okay, here we are. This he, this is the backpacks, and you don't have to copy me. You can, but you can also make your own backpacks. These are just examples and good ideas. So, for mine, you're going to need two of these wing pieces, with the hooks, two of these things. I do not know what you call them, but they have the bar pieces that you can connect these onto. Then you have this piece, this piece is kind of hard to find it's in some, some sets, I don't know, you might have a bunch of them, you might have none but you have this and basically this 
just sticks out. It's kind of weird. And once again, another one of these with a hole similar, same exact to this guy's face. And so you're gonna need one of those. And then for the other backpack, simple. This one, it's like an engine. I think I got it from a power miner set back in like 2009. It was a while ago. 2010, whatever. And then you're going to need two of these sticks for swords. Right? One, two. Okay, let's get... St oh, and these from the other set. Or what I was talking about. These are extras that you can add on to here. I don't know why I really put them there, but... These I just wanted to point out because they're kind of rare pieces. I got them. I'll show you where I got them. Got them from my bark speeder over here because I built a giant Lego Star Wars Kashyyyk base there so you can see it. all the clones, droids, phone. So, uh, Wookiee base. Anyways, let's get back to this. So we have that. And let's get started. Okay, so we're going to do the winged one first. So, we grab this piece right here. Then we have this piece. This thing sticking out of it. Put it right here. So, they're not connected yet, but you place them like that. right here and then you grab these the bar bar piece whatever these are really common in sets you can get them in a lot of sets so you put it right under here con connecting the two pieces and you grab the other one Put it here. This is a simple idea I just created for a wing backpack so we can fly. Then once we have that, we grab these wings. We get one of these. Make sure they're facing the right way. Just so you can let's see here. Yes. Aerodynamics here. A little physics. Make sure the wings facing like this so it flies easier obviously it's not gonna really fly but let's be realistic the other one on bam easy as that okay so let me show you how to apply it right here I had the default on stupid brick I had the default on right here remember I showed you how to put this backpack on so you take this 2x3 as well as this dark gray piece, the ramp. You want to take those off. That's just default. You can keep them if you want. Now we apply the wings with this piece facing down. This little hook. So we're going to apply it inside of here. Put it right there. So you have these wings. That's pretty cool. So your character can fly and then these wings can fold back. I guess since as a robot it doesn't have natural wings, but it could be like artificial or just get creative, you know, build your own. And the second, let me take this off now. Uh, the second backpack is really easy. So it's gonna, one second here. Second backpack is like really easy. There's only three parts to it. It's simple, but it's it's good. 
This one is just a holding backpack. Once again, you're going to get this rare. Let me show you here. You get this rare piece right here. This is hard to find. You can get it on some trucks. I think in cars. I, I'm not a cars fan. Cars is terrible, in my opinion. The animated thing with meter or whatever. I think they have these pieces on the Lego cars and one of the uh, the trucks. And then I know on um, what's it called? Power Miners. They have these on one of the, uh, I think it's called Granite Grinder. It's on the front of it. And, um, yeah. So you can grab this piece. You can put this piece right here. Skibbly dibbly doo. Piece is here. So you have the piece, you apply the samurai swords. So that's pretty cool. So you have the swords, you can hold on to it. So that's the other backpack idea. So you can put stuff in there. Then let me give them some weapons. This is one of the weapons here. Axe one. I got this from a Lego Bionicle set. It wasn't actually like the Bionicles, like the big ones. It wasn't. It wasn't anything like these guys here. It wasn't like these big ones, but it had, there actually was a Lego Bionicle. It was Legos, they were Legos. But you could build it, it was like a mini ship. So anyway, this axe is pretty rare. I think you can get it on eBay. Then my other weapons, these is from Star Wars. I'm a big Lego fan, I love Legos, so. You have this, you know. Right here. Put it on. Go. Boo boo. Gun. Sniper rifle type thing. I don't know. You can put your own weapons. And I'd like to see you create your own with backpacks. Your own backpacks. Okay. So, there we have it. Robot. Thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe.